What's going on all my pre-healthcare brothers and sisters? I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today we're moving on with our ATIT's question review series and we're gonna be discussing basic operations. Starting with question one, which of the following is the most appropriate unit of measure to use for the mass of a baseball? Is it A, grams, B, kilograms, C, centimeters, or D, liters? And the correct answer is A, grams. The most appropriate unit of measure for a baseball would be in grams. Kilograms could be used, but since the baseball has a significantly lesser mass than one kilogram, using grams would be the better option. Eight times parenthesis four plus three. Simplify the expression above. Which of the following is correct? Is it A, 42, B, 35, C, 56, or D, 67? And the correct answer is C, 56. To simplify the expression eight times, parentheses four plus three, we use the order of operations. Following the order of operations, first perform operations in the parentheses, four plus three equals seven. Then we multiply eight times seven to get our correct answer, 56. 17 plus six squared minus parentheses four plus two. Simplify the expression above which of the following is correct. Is it A, 23, B, 36, C, 47, or D, 51? And the correct answer is C, 47. To simplify this expression, we have to again use the order of operations. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna perform all the operations with our, within the parentheses. So four plus two is equal six. So now we've got 17 plus six squared minus six. The next thing that we're gonna perform is the square. So 17 plus six times six minus six is equal to 17 plus 36 minus six. There is no multiplication or division to perform, so we move on to the final step. We perform all addition and subtraction from order to left to right. So 17 plus 36 minus six is equal to 53 minus six is equal to 47. 473 minus 67 Simplify the expression above, which of the following is correct? Is it A, 404, B, 406, C, 416, or D, 429? And the correct answer is B, 406. To check your work, add 406 plus 67. The result is the original number of 473, making the correct answer Four zero six. Three times five squared divided by nine minus four. Simplify the expression above, which of the following is correct? Is it A, negative 25, B, three, C, 15, or D, 27? And the correct answer is C, 15. To simplify the expression, we of course use the order of operations again, and we start with all operations that are found within the parentheses. So nine minus four is equal to five, leaving us with three times five squared divided by five. Next, we perform all operations involving exponents. So five times five is equal to 25, so we're left with three times 25 divided by five. And lastly, we perform all multipl multiplication and division in order from left to right. So three times 25 is 75, divided by five is equal to 15. 10,741 divided by 23. Simplify the expression above, which of the following is correct? Is it A, 365, B, 397, C, 467, or D, 489? And the correct answer is C, 467. To check your work, multiply 23 by 467 to get the original number, 10,741, making the correct answer 467. 
5,614 plus 373. Simplify the expression above. Which of the following is correct? Is it A, 5,987, B, 5,997, C, 6,017, or D, 6,097? And the correct answer is A, 5,987. 324 times 37. Simplify the expression above. Which of the following is correct? Is it A, 3,240, B, 4,768, C, 11,968, or D, 11,988? And the correct answer is D, 11,988. 13,325 divided by 25. Simplify the expression above. Which of the following is correct? Is it A, 400, B, 425, C, 533, or D, 535? And the correct answer is C, 533. To check your work, multiply 25 by 533. The result should be the original number 13,325, making 533 the correct answer. Moving on to our last question. 267 times 49. Round each number to the nearest tenth and then multiply. Is it A, 8,000, B, 13,083, C, 13,500, or D, 15,000? And the correct answer is C, 13,500. Round the numbers as instructed. 267 rounded to the nearest 10 is 270. 49 rounded to the nearest 10 is 50. 270 times 50 is equal to 13,500. Choice B is incorrect because the numbers were not rounded before they were multiplied. Choice D is the first term rounded to the hundredths place and the correct answer, of course, is 13,500 when done appropriately. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.